right, folks, for our Weapon of the Week segment, we're going to stay with carrier-based operations and tell you about a new toy that the U.S. Navy might be playing with very soon. Meet the MQ-25 Stingray, a new aerial tanker. It's sleek, can carry a lot of gas, and it's unmanned. This is what the Navy hopes will help carrier air wings and carrier strike groups maximize their air power. Built by Boeing, the MQ-25 is the result of years of engineering and testing. The project was announced in April of 2018. Boeing released a video at the time. As you can tell, what was imagined and what was eventually built are two fairly similar looking aircraft. Less than four years later, the real version of the Stingray headed to sea for its first test aboard an aircraft carrier. We're calling this the Unmanned Carrier Aviation Demonstration, to look at how the MQ operates on the flight deck, both for propulsion testing and our human factors evaluation. This is a historic moment for the Navy and for the Boeing Company because this is the first evaluation that we're making of this vehicle's ability to operate with the fleet. Those tests must have gone reasonably well because in February, Boeing handed over the first Stingray to the Navy for evaluation. More than just being a flying fuel can for the Navy's F-18s and F-35s, the MQ-25 is also expected to play a role in gathering intelligence as well as conducting surveillance and reconnaissance missions. For the right to build the Stingray, Boeing beat out General Atomics and Lockheed Martin for an $805 million contract. Providing all goes well, the Navy's deal includes four more Stingrays for the fleet, with plans to equip all Nimitz and Ford-class carriers with the ability to operate MQ-25s. 